Welcome to another episode of Comics and Comics here on the Media Junkie channel. I am your host, Dan Brown. As you can tell from the background, still on the go here, still on the road. But I love doing what I do. I love being able to work. I love being able to make people laugh. And during my free time, I love reading comic books. Uh, this episode is going to be about Detective Comics number 958. Um... I mean, what can we say about this one? Uh, it is called Intelligence Part 1. Uh, so I know sometimes you guys are out there wondering, like, oh, man, I, I missed this series. I want to get into this series. Well, 958, Part 1 of Intelligence. Uh, so we could start off this series. We see this beast-looking thing, uh, and it's moaning the name Azriel. Azriel. Which I know some of you guys remember from the Nightfall series uh, back a long, long time ago. Um, of course, that beast has fallen to his knees and is helped by nobody other than Gene Paul. Yes, that very same Gene Paul from Nightfall. Um, then it cuts right over to Bruce Wayne showing up at the Iceberg Lounge. He's got Alfred in his ear. Bruce telling him that he wished he would have came here as the other guy. Um, <clears throat> but then he's greeted by uh, by the Penguin, who's very grateful for Bruce Wayne's uh, appearance at the uh, at the Iceberg Lounge. As you know, casinos and things like that, uh, nightclubs, they like to have the rich people there showing up. Um, so you get to see a short little scene with that. Jumps over to uh, the Belfry. You see uh, Ariel and Clayface and a lot of other people there as well. Uh, when the Beast comes in on a stretcher, uh, the Beast freaks out a little bit when he sees the uh, the Azrael suit. Um, and uh, it's announced there at that point that he was made by the uh, the Sacred Order of Saint Dumas. Uh, so a lot of the uh, a lot of things from Nightfall uh, still popping its its head into this series right here. Um, Jean Paul gives us a little bit of a history, talking about how he was created, not so much born. Um, and, you know, a small little history about that, where he comes from, and in, in, in his his uh, in his life, uh, cuts back to the uh, high rollers table that Penguin takes Bruce Wayne to. Um, and around the table are some pretty sketchy fellows, people who are, you know, some pretty bad guys. Uh, and there's one person there he does not notice, uh, he does not recognize. Uh, so Bruce Wayne sits down next to him and talks to him a little bit. You can tell the guy's a little bit on edge. Uh, turns out his name is Brother Kodo. Then out of what, nowhere, Asriel's suit comes breaking through the wall, uh, causing an explosion, and enters behind him, Satana. And that's where we leave off right now. That's part one right there. So a lot of things are going on. You can know there's going to be multiple stories in this uh, in this series. Uh, you know they're going to be talking about Satana. They're going to be talking about uh, Clayface. Is probably going to pop his head in a couple more times. You know, don't know if we're going to see any more Penguin. Um, but it's definitely looking like it's going to be an interesting series. My only drawback, as you can tell, I love Batman, and I bought a Batman comic book where we never actually see Batman. Um, so that's a that's a little bit disappointing, um, but definitely you know I, I'm excited for the way how this story is, looks like it's probably gonna play out. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy it out, um, buy this issue again next month when it comes out. So uh, you know I suggest you guys do the same. Go to your little comic book stores, check it out, uh, see if you can order it if it's not there, um, and make sure you guys go and pick it up. Um, don't know what else to really say about that. Uh, I, I felt like the uh, the cover of this was a little um, was a little misleading with uh, with all the characters in the front. Uh, but other than that, you know, I am interested to see where it goes. Um, tell me what you guys think. Read it. Comment in the section below. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at at x dan brown uh check out my website danbrowncomedy.com for upcoming shows events and information see if i'm coming to your town anytime soon if i'm not send a request to your comedy club tell them you want to see me there one more time comic comics dan brown media junkies take care